dishes, but especially desserts. The French are also fond of adding fruit to their dessert creations in all manner of styles. And where would desserts be without sugar? Sugar is a part of nearly every dessert in the French food vernacular. And here are a few classics to inspire your cooking at home. Macaroons are a French classic and are often presented in several flavours. Chocolate is popular, as is pistachio, lemon and strawberry. Macaroons can be a challenge for the home cook to tackle, but the rewards are delicious. Of course, when you think French desserts, eclairs always pop to mind. Eclairs are also flavoured differently, but the chocolate variety is by far the most recognisable. The French probably have more desserts in their food culture than any other. They have perfected the art of flans, tarts and chocolates, plus a myriad of delicious treats too many to mention. Another aspect of French desserts is, of course, the visual creativity. To be a pastry chef in France is to not only be a master of cooking, but also an artist, presenting their culinary creations in traditional and new and original ways, sometimes creating desserts that look too good to eat. The French have made a true art out of desserts, yet they need not be complicated. The trick with this dish is timing. Let things cook too long and it will be back to the mixing bowl for another try. Well, the reason why I chose creme caramel is because it's, a, it's an old classic and everyone knows it. Um, also, um, I think that the, um, the art to making a good creme caramel is all in the um, the uh, cooking of the caramel, making sure that you don't let it go too dark and bitter. Um, so it's um, it's something that's used quite often in France. It's a, it's a, it's a it's a very simple dish to cook uh, at home or a nice classical bistro that you can find in Paris. You'll find it on virtually every menu uh, that you can find in in France. Although deceptively simple, creating creme caramel at home can be fraught with pitfalls. We'll show you how to create this dessert step by step. First, crack all your eggs into a mixing bowl. For this recipe, it's not necessary to separate the whites and yolks, so we're off to a flying start. The next step is to add your sugar. Don't dump it all in at once. The sugar needs to be slowly whisked into the eggs, mixing as you go, like this. Then it's over to the stove to warm your milk. You will need to bring it to the boil, but rather than stand and watch it, you can prepare your vanilla bean. Carefully slice the bean lengthways, but don't cut it right to the end. This makes it easier to get the bean out of the mixture later. Place the vanilla bean in the milk and wait for it to boil. As the milk rises, take it off the heat and put it aside for the vanilla to infuse. Now it's time to make the caramel. All you need for caramel is sugar, water and perfect timing. You will also need a dish or sink filled with water to cool the saucepan. Then it becomes a waiting game. You don't need to stir the mixture, just wait until the water evaporates from the sugar. If you attempted this without water, the sugar would burn. The trick with caramel is to watch it cook and wait for the colour to change. Then it's just a matter of taking it off the heat when it turns a golden brown, which happens very quickly. When it does, place your pan in the water to cool for about half a minute to stop it from overcooking. Then quickly pour the caramel into the base of each bowl before it begins to set. Go back to the eggs and sugar and whisk in the vanilla milk you made earlier. Find the vanilla bean and scrape the seeds out into the mixture. Then you need to remove the bubbles or they will appear in your final dessert. 
use a ladle to work the bubbles off the top of the milk and put them aside. You won't need them. Ladle the mixture into the bowls on top of the now set caramel. You'll notice we have the bowls in a bain-marie. Of course, we will fill this with water to just below the top of the bowls and it will prevent the dessert from burning while cooking. Place the bain-marie in the oven at 180 degrees for about 40 minutes. Carefully take them out of the oven and they should be browning on top. Let them cool, then place them in the fridge to set. This usually takes two to three hours. When set, run a knife carefully round the edge, turning the bowl as you go. Then you should be able to place a plate on a dish, turn it over and remove the bowl, leaving a delicious dessert behind. Use the now softened caramel left in the bowl to decorate the plate. And there you have authentic French cream caramel. If that doesn't make you hungry, nothing will. We have barely touched on the food of France and we could easily fill a whole series with amazing culinary creations from the home of fine cuisine. Unique thinking and centuries of experimentation has provided us with the foundation of many modern cooking techniques. Cultural Flavours continues to explore the world through the diversity of food. Let Cultural Flavours take you on a gastronomic journey so you can experience the tastes of the globe at home. Oh.